the TR-125 was Romania's ambitious effort to develop an indigenous main battle tank based on the Soviet T-72M. This prototype project aimed to reduce Romania's dependence on Soviet imports and bolster domestic defense capabilities by creating a local produced, modernized version of the T-72 with entirely Romanian components. Despite significant engineering achievements, the project ultimately failed to progress beyond the prototype stage. In the late 1970s, Romania purchased 30 T-72M tanks from the Soviet Union and sought a production license for local manufacturing. The request was denied, compelling Romania to pursue a reverse engineering initiative in the mid-1980s. The TR-125 program, active between 1984 and 1991, was born out of necessity to achieve self-sufficiency in ammo vehicle production and integrate Romanian specific upgrades to the proven T-72 design. The prototypes were constructed during 1987 to 1988 and underwent testing until project's cancellation in 1991. One of the most striking differences between the TR-125 and the T-72M was the tank's stressed hull, achieved by adding a seven pair of road wheels. This one meter extension allowed the integration of additional ammo and a larger, more powerful HVSA3 diesel engine, generating 850 to 900 horsepower. This suspension upgrade enhanced the T125's mobility and cross-country performance. The 125mm A555 smooth gun, developed domestically, was the centerpiece of the TR125. It was supported by a 7.62mm PKMT correction machine gun and a 12.7mm machine gun mounted on the Commodore's cupola for anti-aircraft defense. These weapons provided the tank with robust offensive and defensive capabilities in line with global MBT standards of the time. The TR-125 featured reinforced ammo plating, which combined with size skirts offer better protection than the T-72M. However, the added weight bringing the tank's total mass to approximately 50 tons introduced some trade-offs in terms of agility. As with the T-72, the TR-125 retained a three-man crew configuration, commander, gunner, and driver, and utilized an autoloader for the main gun reducing the number of personnel required for operation. Despite its potential, the TR-125 never entered operational service. Only a handful of prototypes, estimates range from 3 to 10, were built and tested. These pilot vehicles were stored after the project's cancellation in 1991. The lack of funding, coupled with the political and economic upheaval following the collapse of the Warsaw Pact, meant that the Romanian army could not justify large-scale production. The TR-125 was never deployed in active combat or fielded for international demonstrations. Its legacy remains confined to its status as an ambitious, albeit unrealized, attempt at indigenous tank production during the Cold War. The TR-125 project was not without merit. It demonstrated Romania's ability to develop and manufacture key components 
including its domestically produced engine, gun, and armor systems. This experience led the groundwork for subsequent Romanian defense initiatives such as the TR-85 and TR-2000, although the latter also faced cancellation. Moreover, the TR-125 underscored the importance of local defense capabilities, inspiring ongoing efforts to modernize Romania's military equipment with more emphasis on NATO-compatible systems following Romania's 2004 accession to the alliance. In the late Cold War and early post-Cold War era, the TR-125 could have competed with other regional METs, including T-72 variants of Soviet Union and Eastern Europe. The T-72 remained the benchmark for Warsaw Pact MBTs, while the TR-125 offer improved protection, firepower, and a more powerful engine. It lacked the logistical support and better proven reputation of the T-72. Poland developed the PT-91 Gwati and a great T-72 variant in the 1990s. The PT-91 incorporated advanced fire control systems and composite armor giving it a technological edge over the TR-125. In non-Soviet Allied nations, tanks like the Argentine TAM were lighter and less heavily armed, offer greater operational mobility and affordability. However, the TR-125 was better suited for conventional tank engagements. The TR-125 lacked behind Western METs like the Leopard 2 and M1A Brahms, which boasted superior firepower, ammo, and advanced targeting systems. These tanks were also supported by robust defense industries and extensive modernization programs. The TR-125 stands as a testament to Romania's determination to achieve self-reliance in defense manufacturing during a period of geopolitical constraints. While it never entered full production or service, the project offered valuable lessons in tank design and highlighted the importance of indigenous defense capabilities. In hindsight, the TR-125 was more a stepping stone than a definitive solution paving the way for Romania's post-Cold War efforts to modernize its military in alignment with NATO standards.